What's going on everybody? My name is Zach Hartley and welcome back to another weekly watch this video. In this one, I'm going to dive into five different companies. Four of them I like, one of them I don't like, so stay tuned. Let's jump right in. Okay, so to start us off here, we're going to take a look at the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones. And as you can see, we have formed a bit of a bearish channel, which over the last two weeks has been absolutely amazing. And we have started to break out of this channel. We have also crossed above both of our moving averages in the NASDAQ, same thing in the S&P 500, and the exact same thing in the Dow Jones. Now, when it comes to the VIX or the volatility index, we can see that that has basically fallen off a cliff as investors have felt a little bit more reassured of the market because of some of the economic events that we're going to dive into in just a minute. Before we dive into that though, let's talk about Bitcoin. It has seen a nice, beautiful run up over the last little while. We're trading just under 37,000 right now. We've got some expectations of the ETF coming out. We've also got the halving coming out in, I want to say, April of next year. So we've got some events on the horizon for Bitcoin that could be driving up the price right now. The price of oil is a little bit different story, though. As you can see, we got as high as $94 a barrel. Now we're trading at 77. And so it has seen a pretty significant decline. We're also pushing lower on the price of lithium, which is not good. And it basically means that my dream of getting rich on lithium stocks is just getting pushed a little further and further away. Or maybe we've missed it. Maybe we've hit the high and uh, we're not going to get back up to those prices. It all depends on supply and demand forces. So it's going to be exciting to see. When it comes to earnings, though, we've got a lot of companies reporting earnings still. We've got Home Depot and C. We've got Target. We've got Palo Alto Networks and Cisco. We've got Alibaba, Walmart, Macy's. We've got uh, BJ's. We've got a couple of other companies all reporting earnings this week. So no major companies, no absolute blockbusters here. Maybe you could say Alibaba, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, like a lot of the retail sector is going to be reporting, um, but no major tech companies or anything. So super interesting earnings week coming out. Now, when it comes to the market conditions, you have to understand we just had two amazing weeks in the market, two very strong green weeks in the market. And that came on the back of basically the Federal Reserve holding interest rates steady. So that was very nice to see. Now, when it comes to the future decisions of the Fed, that is gonna be determined by the jobs market and inflation. And we're gonna get the next piece of the puzzle as inflation numbers come out on Tuesday. As of right now though, interest rates are holding steady, but inflation and interest rates are really starting to hit consumers, especially consumers that have a lot of debt, especially if that debt is in a mortgage that needs to get refinanced soon. So there's some concerns there, and we are seeing some nice technical indications like I showed you on the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones. We are breaking out of those bearish channels, and we are now above our moving averages, which is really nice to see. When it comes to crypto and my investments and my picks for this week, at the top of my list is Marathon Digital. I currently hold options in this company right now. I hold call options. The stock has some major support here at $7 and it continues to break out of this bearish trend as the price of Bitcoin goes up. Next one here is Palantir. Palantir is a software company that has a variety of different catalysts that are working in its favor around the world right now. And is currently testing two year highs at $20. I am watching for the breakout or the rejection here. I think it's gonna go one way or the other. I do like the company over the long term though. Now, when it comes to Nvidia, this is also sort of the same story here. As you can see, we have major support right around 400 and we have some major resistance right around 500. And we have basically bounced back and forth over the last almost six months here on Nvidia. It's basically been trading sideways and we are now at the top of that channel and I am expecting us to see a breakout of that channel or a rejection of that channel as we come back down to support at 400. It's probably going to go in direction with the market in alignment with the direction of the market. So it's something to keep in mind, but this is a pretty clear consolidation pattern. And now we're just watching for the breakout. Other companies that I like right now are Amazon. This company is still down $45 from its high. And so you could say it's still down like 25%, which is really nice considering Apple and uh, Microsoft are both getting very, very close or all time or surpassing their all time highs right now. I pointed out Microsoft on last week's watch list. It continued to break out this week and set all time highs. So very nice to see. I like Amazon on the breakout here. The company's going to do extremely well long term. Now, those are the four companies that I like for this week. The one company I don't like this week is Airbnb. I have no idea what's going to happen in the next few days here. 
but all I am seeing is headwinds piling up for Airbnb. We have cities that are banning Airbnb. We have interest rates that are going higher. We have a slowdown in tourism. We had revenge tourism because of COVID and that is over now. And so we have got some things happening here where Airbnb might not be growing as fast as they used to. And if you look at their stock price right here, like I said, we just had an amazing two weeks. Pretty much everything went up in the last two weeks. Airbnb did not. And I think it's because of all these headwinds. So I am watching this one closely. I'm thinking about buying put options. I'm thinking about shorting it. So far, the stock has gone down ever since I said, hey, this one isn't going to do well. And I think it's going to continue going in this direction. Airbnb and Foot Locker. Those are the two companies that I am short on right now. But if you want to see my trades and see what I am actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis, where I'm buying, where I'm selling, all of that information is available on Discord chat. You can also ask me anything you want. There's an entire section dedicated to asking me questions, and it's only $10 per month. I'm trying to build a community of traders that are dedicated to sharing their knowledge, sharing their resources, and spreading the wealth. And so if you're interested in seeing that and joining the community, it's $10 per month. The link is in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Good luck trading. Good luck investing. And we'll talk to you soon.